Hello everybody, my name is Caroline. Thanks for joining me for this video. In this video, we are going to talk about Raspbian Buster. And specifically, this is a part two to the Raspberry Pi 4 video. If you missed my first Raspberry Pi 4 video, I will link to it below. Please check that video out first as this is kind of more of a part two. This video is about Raspbian Buster. What is Raspbian Buster? Well, with the launch of the Raspberry Pi 4 from the Raspberry Pi organization, they also released the next generation of the Raspbian operating system named Raspbian Buster. And in this video, I'm going to talk about my previous projects I've done on this channel and let you know if they are going to work with Buster or not. And then I'll let you know if I'm going to redo some of the projects on this channel specific to Raspbian Buster. Now let's get started. Let's start by talking about Raspbian Buster versus Raspbian Stretch. Now, Raspbian Stretch is the previous generation of the Raspbian operating system. And I would say that all of my projects last year, most of them were done on Raspbian Stretch. Now, where do you go to get Raspbian Buster in the first place? From the raspberrypi.org website. I will link to it below, but here it is on my screen. And you go into Downloads, and from Downloads, I always select Raspbian. And then from Raspbian, it says, here you go, Raspbian Buster with desktop and recommended software, or Raspbian Buster with desktop, and then Raspbian Buster Lite. Most of my projects, if not all of my projects on this channel, are Raspbian Buster with desktop. Now, when you see me download the latest version of Raspbian, I generally use Raspbian Buster with desktop without the recommended software. I will talk about that a little bit later on in this video, but generally speaking, this is the one I download. The reason being is in most of my projects, I am installing another piece of software and not using something that's included in the recommended software. Now, what I figured out is that Raspbian Buster works with Raspberry Pi 4 and Raspberry Pi 3 and on down the line. You cannot use Raspbian Stretch that you did on your Raspberry Pi 3 last year and take that and put that in your Raspberry Pi 4 and expect it to work. I tried it, it didn't work for me. Now let's jump in to my previous projects on this channel and if they'll work with Raspbian Buster. Number one, Alexa Pi. Installing the Alexa voice service on a Raspberry Pi to kind of make a Amazon Echo type device. Uh, thank you everybody who watched that video. It was a three-part series last year. I will link to below if you're interested. I tried that out with Raspbian Buster. Unfortunately, at the time of the recording, it did not work. With that said, Amazon has updated the package for the voice service every year for the past three years. And I am assuming that in the near future they will update that package and you will be able to install Alexa voice service on a Raspberry Pi 4 with Raspbian Buster. For right now, I would recommend you can still do the project, but you need to download a previous version, a Raspbian Stretch instead of a Buster in order to get that project to work. Now let me show you how to do that. So on my screen here, I went to downloads.raspberrypi.org forward slash Raspbian forward slash images and these are the older versions of the Raspbian operating system but from here you can look and say okay I want to download a previous version of Raspbian operating system I'd recommend downloading a 2018 11 5 or even a 2018 10 11 something like that you click on that and then it gets you into um, zip.info I would recommend downloading raspbian-stretch.zip. That is the file that you'll need. It's downloading now. I'm going to stop it because I do not need that file right now. Uh, you'll download that file and then you'll go into your etcher. And I've shown you etcher in the last video. From the etcher, you'd select that image and then install it onto a micro SD card. And that's how you would get the previous version on a Raspberry Pi 3. For Alexa voice service, you're gonna need a Raspberry Pi 3, not a 4, and you'll need to download the Stretch for right now until Amazon updates their tutorial package for Alexa voice service, which I'm confident they will do sometime in the near future. Moving on, Plex. Last year I did a video where we installed the Plex server on a Raspberry Pi 3, and then we could play music with our voice commands on our Amazon Echo device. Technically, Plex is not supported 
on a Raspberry Pi device. I was unable to get the Plex server on a Raspberry Pi 4 with Buster as of right now. I believe they are working on it or we're working on some really interesting work around those hackers out there. But as of right now, it does not work. If you want to do the Plex project, number one, I would recommend doing it on your Windows or Mac computer. And last week I actually posted a video where I am now running Plex on a Windows machine so that I can watch TV and record TV shows using the Plex server on a Windows machine. If you missed that, I'll link to it below. Please check that out. That's my recommendation. If you are really, if you really, really want to do the project I did last year with uh, the Plex server and the Raspberry Pi 3, you will have to go through and download the previous version, a stretch version of the Raspbian operating system, just as I showed you here in order to make that work. All right, let's do that. Next, micro bit. This was not a very popular project on my channel, but essentially I took a micro bit and uh, attached it to a Raspberry Pi 3. I believe you can do this project on a Raspberry Pi 4, but in this scenario, I'm using a package, I'm using an application that is included in the Raspbian Buster with desktop and recommended software. Specifically, I'm using the MU uh, software and it does come pre-installed on this Raspbian Buster with desktop and recommended software. So if you wanna do my micro bit with Raspberry Pi, project I recommend using that version and then not you don't have to sudo install MU it should already be on there once you download this package install this package and you should be able to follow the micro bit tutorial exactly as what you saw in that video now let's get to the good news let's talk about magic mirror I did a five-part magic mirror at the beginning of this year thank you everybody who watched it I really enjoyed making it since I launched that video they now have magic mirror 2 and it does work with the Buster and the Raspberry Pi 4. I tried that out the other day. Uh, now we're kind of in a dilemma here. It was a five part series. You know, it took me five weeks in order to get that all working the way I wanted to get it working. If you want me to redo the entire five part series with Buster and Zip, it's really not that much different. There are a few nuances here and there. Let me know by leaving me a comment. What I am planning on doing is re-recording that video, but just with the changes. So essentially I, I'm going to assume you've watched all five parts and then we're just going to uh, do an, a quick update to Raspberry Pi 4 and and Buster and then make the project work again so it will skip over the meat of the project and it'll just cover the nuances really so if you're if you think that's useful to you hopefully I'll have that out in a couple of weeks next photo booth project. Thank you everybody who watched my photo booth project with the printer. There were a couple of changes. One of the APIs we were using with Google Photos was, um, was depreciated at the beginning of this year. I went back to the developer and he did update his code with a new API or a new way of doing it. It works great. It pretty much works exactly the same way as what you saw in that video. It does work with Buster and Raspberry Pi 4. Yay. Essentially works exactly the same way. I will record a new photo booth tutorial with Raspberry Pi 4 and Buster. Now what about my other projects? The other projects on my channel are self-contained images, meaning that we downloaded an image and we installed it on the micro SD card and I didn't actually install Raspbian Buster to begin with. For example, Mango Mirror. And under Mango Mirror, we can go to uh, Mango Display Raspberry Pi, click on that. And it says, you know, here's the software that powers, you know, Mango Mirror on the Raspberry Pi. And if you keep on scrolling down, it says you can download the Mango OS uh, and you install it on a micro SD card. And I covered all of this in the Mango Mirror video and it says right here, Mango OS for Raspberry Pi 3. That means you need to use a Raspberry Pi 3 and not a Raspberry Pi 4. Just go with the recommended instructions. Next, let's talk about MotionEye. And I made a video where we monitored my cat and her movements through Motion Eye, through a Raspberry Pi Zero and a webcam. And so I really, really favored using a Raspberry Pi Zero for that project, and I still do. But do you want to do it on a Raspberry Pi 4? Hmm. Well, if you go to their GitHub page where you can download the Motion Eye operating system and install it, uh, if you look at the pre-release, which is not official, which is, I guess, kind of a beta, and you click on that, they do have a version for Raspberry Pi 4. 
but because it's pre-release, it's use at your own risk. It really is all use at your own risk software considering it's free software. Now, if you wanna to go to the latest version, we'll scroll down a little bit. There we go, latest release. If I click on that, that the latest version they have is Raspberry Pi 3. If you want the supported, tested version, go with Raspberry Pi 3 or Raspberry Pi 0 and do that project. But you are not using Raspberry and Buster in that scenario. And for all of you guys out there with a 3D printer and printing using Octopi, which I have featured on my channel previously, on that page it says the image is not compatible with Raspberry Pi 4 and they recommend using a Raspberry Pi 3. But they are working on Raspberry Pi 4 and they do have some test builds on their website. Once again, use at your own risk. Me personally, I'm gonna stick with the Raspberry Pi 3. But they're working on it. What does all of this mean for you? If you want to do one of the projects on my channel, I highly recommend it. But I, right now, I'm recommending doing it the original way with the Raspberry Pi 3. One of the reasons is that I've noticed that the Raspberry Pi 4 runs really hot and the projects I'm doing don't really require a Raspberry Pi 4 and they're, they're more Raspberry Pi 3 type projects. And the Raspberry Pi 3 does not get quite as hot as a Raspberry Pi 4. Actually, I do favor the Raspberry Pi 3. What the Raspberry Pi 4 is good for is if you're doing two screens or if, you're, if you need something that has a lot more processing power. I also do highly recommend getting a fan for your Raspberry Pi 4 as well to keep it cool. That's about it for this video. Video. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Bye now.